morning guys we are officially off to Salina Kansas well we were off to there yesterday already but we don't pick up there till 10 o'clock so figured I sleep in a little bit this morning yeah got me a good night's sleep yep now the sign is the sun is Continue back up again miles. 65 miles to I-135 then we go south there a little bit and that's where we pick up yeah it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out there again that's for sure we are we, we are doing really good on fuel mileage since we are pretty much running empty yep We'll see how long it's going to take us today to get loaded. If it doesn't take us very long to get loaded today, then uh, I can probably uh, drive far enough today to where I can make it home tomorrow. Yep. That's going to be good. Getting home on a Friday. Last week I got home on a Friday. This week I'm getting home on a Friday. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. I wish trucking could always be like that, you know? Getting home on a Friday, go out on a Monday. That that would be something awesome. But that's not the way trucking works. I would say 90% of us have to be on the road on the weekend if we're long haul drivers. At least the, uh, every once in a while, you know? We can't be home every weekend. For everybody would be home on the weekend there wouldn't be any groceries getting delivered there on the weekend for the stores you know and everybody loves going shopping on the weekend especially on the friday and saturday when they get their paycheck you know oh look at that it looks like we got some smoke bears up here two of them sitting up here in the middle keeping an eye on the rest areas i guess Oh, look at them right here. I guess they're having their coffee break right now. Yep. Oh well, I'm always driving legal, so they're, they won't stop me. They can stop me, I don't care. I'm telling you guys, I've been at Penner Snow uh, over five years. I haven't really been an owner operator for five years, but. Uh, I've been an owner operator now for almost three years. I was driving for an owner operator for the pre previous two and a half years. And uh, so far I have never ever gotten a ticket, warning, nothing. I've not had any violations since I've been with Enter International. Yep, a lot of times, you know, DOT sees our company come through, they just wave you through, you know, when we come up to scale. Because they know our company has got a very, very good record. They, uh, they try to keep it legal as much as possible. Yep. If you uh, cheat on your logbook here at Penners, you're going to get your butt kicked. Because we have satellite tracking. And... Uh, they can see exactly what you're doing. They don't have electronic, they have some electronic devices already in some of the trucks, especially the guys that don't want to keep it legal, you know. They they are basically forced to have uh, electronic log if you want to still continue working here because if you can't keep it legal on the books, then, uh, then we just, you know, they're just gonna have to get you an electronic log. Still don't want to drive legal, then you're out of here. Simple as that. And I like it. I like it that way, you know, because uh, that way it gives the company a very good, uh, good name. And in essence, what that does to us drivers is uh, when we come up to a scale, like I said before, uh, a lot of times they'll, you know, if they're doing DOT inspections or whatever, they'll just wave us through because. They know we're driving legal and we try to keep our equipment up to the highest
standard. Try to keep it uh, very well maintained. Yep. But anyways, we'll keep it rolling here and see what the day will bring us today. Alrighty, we have just finished loading. Now we're putting the hammer down to go back home. Yes siree. We got 846 miles to go. And we will be in Steinbach. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit over a day worth of driving yet, but since it's only uh, 11 o'clock yet, or just a couple of minutes after 11 a.m., obviously, I have uh, quite a few hours left to drive yet today, so I can drive pretty far yet today. So I should probably be home tomorrow by lunchtime or a little bit after lunchtime probably. That's going to be nice. Yep. Called a shop up there in Steinbach already. And I'm going to get my truck uh, safety inspection done Monday morning. And we'll see what they come up with. Hopefully my truck will pass safety. And I'll have that behind me and then I can go out there and drive and get some good miles in. Well guys, we are just coming into York, Nebraska. And I'm going to go stop over here at the Petro. I am hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day long. So I am ready for a bite to eat. And they have my favorite lunch up here. At least last time I was here they still had it. And that is the chicken alfredo. Yes siree. I love that kind of stuff. Yep. In 400 feet, make a new turn if possible. Now this is a very big feet. truck stop. As you can probably tell. There is lots and lots of parking up here. That's for sure. They got a uh, truck wash up here and everything. And Oh yeah. I'm going to go pull in here. And then we will go and have ourselves a nice chicken alfredo dinner. Yep. We are just going to Columbus, Nebraska. Have a look at this old bridge that they got here to the left. Looks like that's where we used to have to go both ways and they built this new bridge up here, eh? Yep. I don't know if you can see that tank up there, but they got Columbus written big on that tank up there. Yeah, this is a very interesting uh, Speed town. Speed warning. Speed warning, all right. Well, it says... Uh, Speed limit reduced ahead. 77 Fahrenheit up here. Yeah. Well, it's nice out here. Well, we are having ourselves a fantastic day for sure. That's... that's Definitely. Oh, that guy's even got a jacket on there. He's walking on the parking lot there. I don't even need a jacket anymore. It's so nice out here, you know. I don't need a jacket. <laughs> but I guess I am used to the colder weather, so... I guess for somebody that's not used to the cold weather, they probably don't need a jacket, uh, you know. But... Here we go again. We got another interesting bridge coming up over there. Looks pretty round. We'll be going over it here right away. What are you doing up here? Waiting for a ride? I guess so. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. 0.2 miles keep to the cool, left eh? on 33rd Avenue, US 30. Ah, we're going over the railway tracks, that's miles. what it is, okay. Keep to 
the left on Anyways, my Avenue. phone is ringing. Well, guys, tell me if you guys know where this is. Yes. If you know where this place is, leave me a comment down below in the comment description box or in the comment section up there down below in the video. Yep, you're going to hear it right now. Just give it a second. Crossing border, entering South Dakota. Yep, we are entering South Dakota. Give me a good guess where about it is. It says Yorkton, uh, South Dakota. We just entered Yorkton, South Dakota. Here is the sign. Population 13,528. Yep, that's it. So we are going to go through this little uh, town up here and making our way back to Canada. Yes siree, that's for sure. First National, National Bank, yeah. Well, we're going to have to stop up here. Apparently we got a red light. Some people don't care for red lights, they don't stop, but I do. Because it's the law. I just saw one uh, four-wheeler earlier today there, he's on the turning lane up there and the light was completely red and he just decided he needed to go and he just floored her and went right across the red light. I'm like, come on, you know. It was already completely red, you know. To me that's just wrong, but I guess some people don't care, don't matter to them. If they feel like they need to go, they feel like they need to go. Uh, this guy has got all kinds of crap on this trailer too. I don't know. Oh well, here we go. Back on rolling again. Yeah, it's been a gorgeous, gorgeous day for me. I love it. Yeah, it would be nicer though if these trees would be green already, but... Oh well, we gotta go through every season, I suppose. Ah, oh, look at this green house here to the right. That's an interesting color. Yep. Anyways, we'll keep our rolling. Well guys, I am at the uh, Fly NJ in Sioux City, or Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And have a look at this beautiful truck. Yep. That's a nice looking truck, hey? Nice uh, W Kenworth here, eh? Yep, that's for sure. I'm gonna go inside and grab me a bite to eat. And then probably go grab me a shower later on and then uh, go to bed and go home tomorrow well guys i am calling it a day i am finished for today had me a nice dinner had me some fish yep and fish and mashed potatoes some corn that was really good had me a nice shower and uh, now i'm ready for bed yes so I'll probably go to bed here pretty soon and then we'll be able to make it home tomorrow. I think I'll have about an eight hours drive tomorrow and then I should be home. And then we'll have ourselves a great long weekend I think. Yeah. I'm thinking of taking three days off. Yep. And now we'll see what kind of stuff we will be doing on the weekend. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Share that video right down there below on the video, underneath the video. There is a share button, also the like button, and also that subscribe button. So if you hit that subscribe button already and you're watching regularly, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.